Hey, my name is Phil from webautomation.co. In this quick video, I wanna show you about the InCharge website tracking code, how to install it, and then actually show you what it does. Now, if you haven't yet got started with InCharge, it's an extremely powerful tool. I've also partnered up with these guys, and to give you the best possible chance of getting success fast using this tool, this has got a 14-day free trial. It's also got a 50% discount on your first month if you use the discount code. Plus, I've also got a bonus course. So if you wanna get started with InCharge, this deal is uh, ridiculously good. So make sure you follow the information in the description, and you'll go ahead and and get all of these bonuses okay so what we're going to be doing is i've created a website here which is sort of a demo website that i've been building as i've been going through my course that i'm creating and one of the things that people often ask about is how to add in the in charge website tracking code so let me show you how to do it it's actually really simple so the first thing you want to do is log into your dashboard this is this particular brand's dashboard right and what you want to do is come across to settings and then go to the site tracking now inside here you'll have this code i've already installed it but i've gone ahead and deleted it again yours will probably say no events tracked yet but what i'm going to do is quickly copy this code here right and i'm going to go into my dashboard of this particular website now this uses wordpress and elementor so elementor have made it extremely easy to use all you need to do is come to elementor custom code and then we can go ahead and create a custom code inside here. Now, just to let you know, you need to put it in the head section of your website, right? So what you need to do, custom code, come to add new. Then what we want to do is call this what um, I always just call it the software that I'm using it. So in charge head. Um, so you can choose head or body body. So just make sure it's head. Click on uh, paste like so and then click on publish. It's literally as simple as that. You can choose where you want this code to be displayed. You can also add um, and exclude conditions if you want them to be excluded from particular pages. It's entirely up to you, of course. I'm just gonna leave an entire site, click save and close. And now that's been added. So all you'd need to do, sometimes it does take a few minutes. What you'd go is go check again, okay? And if yours is coming up with nothing being fired yet, there's a good chance you've actually got to go into the website and start clicking around, right? So you can go to things like the contact page or you can come back and go to like, um, click on different buttons inside of it, right? Click on privacy policy, things like that. Cause all it's trying to do is actually trigger this code. So if I go ahead, check again, it's actually updated right now it is 10.09 so that is the exact time so everything's working inside there and if you use the same thing it should do the exact same thing so why would we even want to have a website tracking code so let me show you um, the reason why so if i come to dashboard if i scroll down inside here we can see on our activity stream exactly what people are doing so this particular person the anonymous teal airwig um, has come through, visited the homepage, right? Come to a landing page demo. They've also come down to passive income, investments, all these different pages inside of the website. Now it tracks the time, it tracks the day, and it tracks the particular pages they've gone into. And if you've got multiple people coming inside of here, as you can see, this is actually me, and this is also me, it's a test website, but it creates new, pretty um pretty interesting named uh, people each time they come in and let's just say we clicked on this one you can see exactly where this person has come through and what they've done and the way you can monetize this for your business as well is imagine if you had a free lead magnet right down at the bottom right or a, a a website page or maybe they came through google and the search engine or youtube whatever it might be they'll enter your website so you'll see the first initial contact and then you'll see exactly where this person is going maybe they want to download some free things you can see what they've downloaded and as soon as they put in their name and email it's going to update their contact details and so it's going to have if instead of having a creative name like the anonymous airwig it'll actually say like you know phil wilson or whoever they have put their name as and then over time, if they actually go to purchase something, if you're selling products, then you can see exactly what product they purchased when they first were interested in the product. For example, if they visited the sales page, never actually purchased just then, maybe they got sent some emails. You'll also see the emails that they've received. And then you also see if they've clicked in the emails, everything like that. So it's extremely, extremely powerful information. 
if you actually use it properly. So that's the reason why in charge website tracking code and installing it properly is extremely powerful because you get to see what people are doing, how they're engaging with your content, and then you can see what's actually working. So that's it guys, that's as easy as it is to add in the website tracking code, right? It's literally a five second job. If you're using other plugins, just install a plugin that's like a, a header and footer code install and it will take five seconds to actually add. And then once it's inside there, just make sure once again, you ensure that the site tracking says last event tracked, right? and it should update. If it doesn't, just come back through on your website, play around, go through a few pages, and then come back. And then once it's working, you can forget about it completely because it's just going to work in the background. There's also a form tracking option. This is dependent if you aren't using InCharge for your email marketing or if you're really um, certain on how you want your form tracking to go. This is really good too if it's more like uh, booking scheduling and things like that. So if it's a booking form instead of like a lead generation form, this is when you'd use form tracking. But for things like lead magnets, opt-in forms, newsletters, just leave it with this. This is more than enough as all your email marketing will be done inside of your flows. Okay guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I've got so many great in charge and marketing automation tutorials coming out for your business. It's gonna help you get so much more revenue, ROI, and do less work. It's automation at its finest. And if you haven't got in charge just yet, make sure you check out the special offer that I've created, right? You'll get a 14 day free trial plus a 50% discount on your first month. If you decide to continue, there's no credit card to get started. Plus you'll also get this free bonus course that I've created. Okay guys, that's it from me and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.